Mantises are something of an eccentric in the world of insects. They can be fearsome hunters, but usually wait for their prey to find them. Most of all, they are hyper-adapted to their environments, and there are more than 2,000 species of mantises, each with the looks and skills they need to thrive in their corner of the world. They all share the distinctive bent forelegs and long abdomens, but each has singular adaptations that make it both a fearsome hunter and elusive prey. 1. Spiny Flower Mantis The spiny flower mantis hails from sub-Saharan Africa and features prominent eye spots on its wings to deter predators. It grows to between 1 and 2 inches, making it one of the smaller mantis species, but it is still a capable predator itself. The intricate spikes and dappled green and white coloration it sports blends into surrounding flora so well that some insects will attempt to pollinate them, which ends in a meal for the mantis rather than successful pollination. Two, Devil's Flower Mantis. The Devil's Flower Mantis, Idolomantis diabolica, is another species native to sub-Saharan Africa, but one that grows to a much larger size. Adult females, which are larger than males, can be five inches long, making it one of the largest mantis varieties. Males tend to be smaller, around four inches in length. A defining characteristic is its defensive display in which it raises its forelegs to reveal a stark black and white underside and appear larger than it truly is, thanks to its intense coloration and dramatic displays. 3. Ghost Mantis The Ghost Mantis, Philocrania paradoxa, is an African mantis species remarkable for its leaf-like body. It even has pigment variations that resemble the veins of a leaf, perfecting its disguise against birds and other would-be predators. The mantis can change its color after a few molts if it moves from, say, a brown environment to a green one, and vice versa. Point four. It's considered a miniature species, rarely growing more than two inches long. It's another popular pet species, especially because lack of aggression toward its own species means they can coexist in captivity. Other mantises quickly turn to cannibalism. 4. Thistle Mantis this species of praying mantis is creamy white to beige with light green stripes and light green veins on the wings as adults. On its back this mantis has a small pointed shield under which the forearms are being kept. The inside of the front legs are orange and blue white white spots. These colors are shown in the threatening posture to deter predators. Blepharopsis mendica will grow to a size of about 5 to 6 centimeters, with little difference in size between the sexes. The males are more slender with wings that reach a little bit over the end of the abdomen. The females are bulkier with a wider prothorax and with wings that extend to just the end of the abdomen. The females have thin antennae while adult males have feathered antennae, antennae with large thick hairs on it. 5. Conehead mantis, a native of the Mediterranean, the conehead mantis and Pusa pinnata is easily distinguished by its protruding crown and feathery antennae, which give it an alien appearance. It can grow to over 4 inches in length and is a prodigious predator capable of taking down prey its own size. Like all mantises, it catches prey through stalking, pouncing, and gripping its victims in spine-like front legs. It likes to live in open areas of scrub and perennial herbs. 6. Malaysian Orchid Mantis The Malaysian Orchid Mantis Hymenopus coronatus is an amazing example of camouflage, with legs like petals and soft pink coloration. It lives, of course, in Malaysia, as well as in other Southeast Asian countries. It hides in flowers and tree limbs, turning brown if the environment calls for it. All of this disguise is a powerful predatory tactic, causing unsuspecting flying insects to land, literally, in its waiting arms. Apparently, it was discovered in 1879 when an Australian journalist took a trip to Indonesia and returned with stories of bug-eating flowers. What he actually saw was the orchid mantis. Seven, shield mantis, like other mantis species, the shield mantis, Coeratidus rhombicollis, has a super realistic leafy appearance. But unlike some species, the shield mantis doesn't devote its entire body to the disguise. Instead, its upper leafy look hides an ordinary undercarriage, though it can reach a length of up to 5 inches. This Central and South American native can also vibrate 
and shake its body to replicate a leaf moving in the wind. Once situated, this large mantis adopts a sit and wait hunting tactic and can feed on prey as large as lizards and hummingbirds. 8. Dragon Mantis The Dragon Mantis, Stenophila cornidra, is a particularly elusive species, expertly hidden in the dense foliage of the Brazilian Atlantic rainforest with its leafy appendages and twig-like body. It's so hard to spot, in fact, that researchers aren't sure how many are out there. It could be that the species is incredibly rare or that it's incredibly hard to find. 9. Dead Leaf Mantis The Dead Leaf Mantis, Acanthops falcata, is similar to the Ghost Mantis, but with a few differences worth noting. For one, its homeland is South America, rather than Africa. It's also unique in that it displays sexual dimorphism, where the males and females of the species look different, to a greater extent than other mantises. The smaller males have a flattened thorax and resemble a flat leaf, while the flightless but larger females look like a curled leaf and flash prominent orange warning colors under their unusable wings. A medium-sized praying mantis perfectly evolved to be a master of camouflage. 55 mm in length. Body consists of different shades of green to camouflage it better in its habitat. Even its body contains irregularities on the thorax and abdomen to blend in with moss. However, the camouflage is quite useless when I found it in the dining hall where it feeds on the nocturnal insects attracted to the artificial light. A leftover of an ant alate is seen in its claw.